Today we're taking a look at this Hasselblad V to Canon EOS R tilt rocker tilt shift adapter. This adapter is designed to adapt a Hasselblad V medium format lens to the front and then adapt it to a Canon EOS R camera. And the adapter has built-in tilt shift functionality so you can turn any adapted Hasselblad V lens into a tilt shift lens. Now this adapter is part of the Pro Photo Deox line of adapters. So it is super durable. It's an all metal construction. It's got a nice finish to it and it fits very well with your professional Canon EOS R camera. This is the front of the adapter. This is where we mount the Hasselblad V lens onto the adapter. We've got our bayonet mount here, Hasselblad V bayonet mount. The interior is painted with a black paint that is non-reflective, so you don't get any bouncing light inside the adapter. Then you can see on the back here, this is where we mount it to the Canon EOS R camera. Very durable, all metal mount. And this is a tilt rocker tilt shift adapter. So the adapter also has tilt shift functionality. This is the shift button right here. And when you press this button, you can actually shift the lens 20 millimeters. It's got a 20 millimeter shift. You can shift right, left, or you can just leave it in the neutral position and then it works just like a normal adapter. And if you want to tilt your adapted Hasselblad V lens, you're just gonna loosen this gold knob here and you can tilt down up to 10 degrees of tilt. And then if you wanna rotate the tilt, we just go over here, push this gold button. This is a 360 degree rotation. So we can rotate the tilt wherever we want it. So this will work as a regular adapter, just straight Hasselblad V to EOS R, or you can use the tilt shift functionality to add tilt shift effects to your photos and videos. I've got a Hasselblad V 80 millimeter lens here, got a Canon EOS R full frame camera. And the reason we're able to adapt this medium format Hasselblad V lens to this full frame digital camera is because of flange distance. Uh, basically, this lens has a very deep flange distance. That's basically the distance between where the lens ends and the film plane. In this case, the medium format film of the Hasselblad V camera begins, and it's quite a distance. Now with this full frame camera, you can see where the lens mounts and the sensor begins is much shorter. And so because we have all this extra space uh, between this lens and where the sensor or film plane goes, we can put an adapter. And that's how we're able to adapt this medium format lens to this digital camera. This tilt rocker adapter is compatible with all Hasselblad V lenses. Uh, it'll work with pretty much the entire line. So any Hasselblad V lens you want to adapt to a Canon EOS R camera, you can use this tilt rocker adapter to do so. Now this adapter is a fully manual adapter. It doesn't have any electronic communication pins on it, so it won't do electronic communication between Hasselblad V lenses and the Canon EOS R camera, which means you'll have to adjust the exposure on the lens manually, as well as the focus. There won't be any autofocus or electronic aperture control. Uh, this is a manual shooting only setup. Now, before we adapt this Hasselblad V lens to our adapter, there are a couple things we have to check. Uh, Hasselblad V lenses were designed to communicate with Hasselblad V cameras. And as you can see, currently the shutter inside the lens is closed. So if we want to adapt this lens and use it on our mirrorless camera, we need to open that shutter. And the way to do that is to adjust this little piece right here. Now we can use a Hasselblad tool, or if you don't have one of those, you can use a simple flathead screwdriver. You're simply going to place it in here and you're going to rotate it. Just be sure not to hurt the sensor. And if we rotate it all the way, we should have locked open the shutter. As you can see, shutter is now open. So now we can adapt this lens to the camera and we can actually have the sensor see through it and we can use the shutter inside our digital camera rather than the shutter in this lens. Now, the other thing we have to do is turn on the depth of field preview on this lens and keep it on. Uh, so when we adjust the aperture, it's actually adjusting currently, no matter what I do, as I turn the aperture ring, the lens is staying wide open. This lens was designed to keep the leaf shutter wide open inside the lens until you took a shot and then it would close it down to whatever aperture you had it set to. But when we adapt this lens, we're gonna wanna set the aperture in real time. And the way we do that is we use this lever right here. This is the depth of field preview lever, and we're just going to engage it by sliding it 
this way and keeping it locked in place. As you can see now, I can adjust my aperture and it is opening and closing. Because I have the depth of field preview lever engaged, I can set the aperture to whatever I want and it's setting it right there. And that allows me to shoot with my mirrorless camera with this lens adapted to it and have the correct aperture. Now, if you have any questions or comments about either of these two things you have to do with this lens before you adapt it, comment below. I know it's a bit confusing. I would love to help you out. Just comment below and I will answer your questions. Okay, it's time to mount this Hasselblad V lens on our adapter. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is find the red dot on your lens right here. Then you're gonna wanna find the red mounting dot on the adapter right here. Then you're just gonna wanna line them up slide the lens into the adapter and rotate it to lock it into place. Okay, there we go. We've got the Hasselblad V lens mounted to our tilt rocker adapter. And uh, people always wonder with these adapters, how much play am I gonna have between the lens and adapter? How much will it rotate uh, when it's locked on the adapter? There is a little tiny bit of play, but it's pretty good. It's pretty tight in there. Now, we can't make it without any play because then you wouldn't be able to mount the lens on the adapter. There has to be a little bit so the lens will fit, but it's very minimal. It's very tight in place. Okay, now we're gonna mount our Hasselblad V lens and our Tilt Rocker adapter onto our Canon EOS R camera. Uh, same as the lens, we're gonna find the red mounting dot on the adapter right here. We're gonna find the red mounting dot on the camera right here. We're just going to line them up and then turn the adapter to lock it to the camera. And again, I wanna show you the play between the adapter and camera. It's very minimal, it's pretty tight. Yeah, it's in there pretty tight. There's a very little bit of rotation, but not much. So it's a very durable fit. That's not going anywhere. Now, before we use this adapted lens on the Canon EOS R, we're gonna to have to tell the camera not to look for an EOS R lens. So we're gonna to have to set the camera to shoot without lens. To shoot without lens, you're just going to go into this submenu, and then you're going to go to submenu five. You're gonna go down to release shutter without lens. And you're going to enable release shutter without lens. Now you'll be able to use any adapted lens as well as any Canon EOS R third party lens that is fully manual, that doesn't have any electronic communication. This will tell the camera not to look for a Canon EOS R lens so you can use any lens with it. Now, before we get into the tilt shift functionality of this lens, let's address quickly the field of view of this lens when it's adapted to a full frame camera. This is an 80 millimeter lens, but when you mount this lens on a medium format camera, which has a larger sensor than the full frame in this camera, it will look wider. Uh, basically, it will look like a wider lens would look on a full frame camera. You're gonna get a wider field of view. Now, when you adapt this medium format lens to a digital full frame camera, the sensor is going to be smaller. And that means you're going to be cropping in on the field of view uh, that you would get with a medium format camera. But it does not mean that this is no longer an 80 millimeter lens. This is still an 80 millimeter lens. It has an 80 millimeter field of view, regardless of what you adapt it to. Uh, which means this will look like an 80 millimeter lens on this camera. What I mean is if you adapt this medium format 80 mil to this full frame, take a shot, and then immediately swap it out and put a full frame 80 millimeter lens on there, take another shot, they're gonna have the exact same field of view. Both lenses, both the medium format 80 millimeter and the full frame 80 millimeter will have the exact same field of view. There won't be any difference. So this adapted medium format lens will look like a full frame 80 millimeter lens adapted to this full frame camera, but it won't look like an 80 millimeter lens looks like uh, when it's adapted to a larger sensor medium format camera. I hope that made sense. Field of view is a little tricky. So if you have any questions about that, comment below. Love to talk to you about it. Okay, we addressed all the technical things regarding this adapter. Now let's get to the fun stuff, the tilt shift functionality. This adapter has 20 millimeters of shift and to shift it, we just press this silver button right here, press it in, we can shift all the way to the right, we can shift all the way to the left. And if we wanna shift diagonally or vertically, we can do that too, just shift and then push this little gold button here to rotate the adapter 360 degrees. So now we can shift diagonally. We can rotate it here 
and now we can shift vertically. So you can pretty much put your shift wherever you want it in your shot. And shifting is great for perspective distortion correction. You know, you shift up or down to correct leading lines. Uh, instead of having them slanted, you can make them straighter. Great for architecture photography. Another thing you can do with this adapter is you can lock it down on a tripod, shift all the way one way, take a shot, shift all the way the other way, take a shot. And then you can take these two images, stitch them together in post and create a stitched panorama. Okay, now let's look at using the tilt function on this adapter. You're just gonna loosen this gold knob here, and then we can tilt up to 10 degrees down. Now again, we don't just have to tilt down because we can use this gold button here to rotate the tilt 360 degrees. So as you can see, we can tilt left, we can rotate it the other way. Now we can tilt right, we can rotate it this way and we can tilt up. Now you don't have to tilt the entire 10 degrees. As you see, we've got these little markers here and you can actually tilt to exactly how much tilt you want. And tilting affects the focal plane of your lens. If we have it set normally, you know, your focal plane is going to be flat. But if we tilt down, we're taking that focal plane and we're distorting it, we're tilting it. That means we'll have a sliver of focus in the center of our image, but the left and right or the top and bottom will be out of focus. And this is a great way to create artistic selective focus effects, you know, like that tilt shift miniature effect that's used often in time lapses, but you can also use it for more subtle things. You can tilt just a little bit. Uh, let's say you're shooting a shallow depth of field shot and you want two subjects in focus that aren't in the same focal plane. By tilting just a little bit, you can focus on both things at the same time, uh, something you couldn't do with just a standard adapter or a standard lens. And you can also tilt and shift at the same time to create really unique looks. Uh, there's a lot of different types of looks you can create with the tilt shift lens, and now you can do that with our Tilt Rocker adapter. And check out this video to see some of the different kinds of effects you can create with our Tilt Rocker tilt shift adapters. Okay, that was an in-depth look at our Hasselblad V to Canon RF tilt rocker, tilt shift adapter. If you have any questions about this adapter, comment below. I'd love to engage with you and answer any questions you have. And if you wanna learn more about this adapter or buy one for yourself, click the link in the description below. Also click the link in the description below to see our entire line of tilt rocker adapters for various cameras and lenses. And let me know in the comments below what you would do with a tilt rocker, tilt shift adapter like this. What kind of looks would you use it for? Would you use it for photography, for video? Would you use it for uh, interesting filmmaking effects? I would love to know what you would do with this adapter. So comment below and we'll start the conversation. That's it for now and thanks for watching.